Hello, everybody. Welcome to Build. We are here today with two of the women featured in this year's Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue, Brenna Huckabee, a professional snowboarder who will be competing at the Paralympics next month and who is the first amputee to be featured in the Swimsuit Issue. Huge deal. And Danielle Harrington, who is this year's cover model. Voila. And is making history as the third black woman to be featured on the Swimsuit Issues cover. So please join me in welcoming Brenna and Danielle to the Build stage. <laughs> Guys, this is insane. Yeah. You're having a crazy week, aren't you? The craziest week. <laughs> <laughs> um, Danielle, I saw a truly epic clip of when you found out that you were the cover model and you learned it from your role model, Tyra Banks. Yes. Uh, what was going through your mind? What were you thinking? Well, they played a joke on me. <laughs> so I did a virtual reality shoot um, with Sports Illustrated and basically they made it seem like they wanted me to see it for the first time and they wanted to do like behind the scenes of like my reaction and stuff. So I'm like thinking that's what we're doing. So we walk in, and here's Tyra Banks. And I was like, uh-oh, like this is not good. <laughs> and MJ, the editor, she's like, oh, Tyra, I didn't know you would be here. And Tyra's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, no, this is not how I want to meet Tyra for the first time. <laughs> so um, basically, Tyra was like, so I have this special project I've been working on. And mind you, I had no clue about anything. I was just like a little puppy just like oh, Tyra you know <laughs> so um basically she's she turned to me and she's like I have one photo in my hand and I was like <sighs> like my heart just dropped like I'm feeling I still feel the emotions um and yeah she turned it around and it was this I'm on the cover and I just couldn't believe it I wasn't even looking at the cover honestly I was looking at Tyra like oh my god <laughs> I love you <laughs> so yeah and, um, I mean, this is like a lifelong dream for you, too, oh, right? of course. Like, she's the reason that I knew about Sports Illustrated and that, you know, I knew that she was the first black woman to on the cover. So, I mean, this is all so surreal. And it seems like she's really taken you under her wing in these last crazy few days. She what? has. I mean, uh, I actually went to her house, and then we went to the <laughs> Black Panther movie premiere together. Oh, my God. And um, yeah, so, and last night she came to the Sports Illustrated launch and we did some pictures together and she's just really cool and she just wants to help me like move in the right direction, so. Has she given you any advice for how to handle something like this? Um, not really. I mean, she, you know, she just wants me to be myself, but she's like, you're a businesswoman now. This is the modeling business, not the modeling party time. <laughs> so it's pretty good advice, I, I would say. That's really good advice. Yeah. Um, and Brenna, you are making history in this issue. What does it mean to you to be a part of the magazine and to be part of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit? Yeah, I am so thankful. I mean, I think of back to when I was 14 and going through cancer and losing my leg. And I can't, you know, I can't think of a single woman who was in the spotlight the way that I am. And if I had that role model, like, I know that my whole recovery would have been so different. And so to know that I can be that woman for whoever is going through whatever they're going through, it's an incredibly huge honor. <laughs> how, did, how did this even happen? How did you find out about it? Uh, um, so I was in Austria at a training camp and it was like five o'clock in the morning. I was jet lagged and I looked at my phone and I'm like, oh dear, this is a long text. And it was, hey, like, can you fly to Aruba in two days for a Sports Illustrated <laughs> oh, no, Swimsuit wow. shoot? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my God. What do, you, what do you feel when you see that picture of yourself? Oh, my goodness. I can't even believe it's me. <laughs> like, I've just, I'm, when I think of myself, I think of myself as just so not sexy. And so to put myself out there in such a vulnerable way has, it was scary, but like looking at it now, I'm like, hell yeah. yeah. Like I am yeah. so glad I did that. <laughs> That's amazing. And you're talking about, you know, being a teenager, you went through cancer, you had your leg amputated. That is, I mean, the worst that can happen. And 
who who did you look toward as your role model in those moments? And you you are in a position now to be a role model for other people. Yeah. Um. So when I went through it, I looked to other girls um, who were also going through cancer. So one of my friends who, I mean, I love her dearly, she met me in the hospital and she was a cheerleader and she continued to, you know, pursue her life the way that she wanted to despite amputation and she, I call her my mentor and like, mm -hmm. yeah, she's 100% somebody I look up to. That's amazing. And now you guys are both going to have girls all over the world looking up to both of you. So I'm sure that's a crazy feeling too, but really it cool. <laughs> um, and Danielle, what do you what do you feel when you see your picture on the cover of the magazine? Um, <laughs> I'm kind of in awe of myself because I mean, this is only my second year in the issue. So I mean, I was just happy to be a part of it for the second time. So for me to be on the cover is just honestly, it's so crazy and it was so unexpected. But, I mean, I am so happy to be on the cover and to be an inspiration to all the girls <laughs> in the world. And, you know, I, I'm from Compton. Like, you know, I didn't grow up fancy or, you know, I'm from Compton. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, I just want to be an inspiration to all the little girls who, you know, no matter where they come from, they can be on the cover or they can, you know, dream big and do what they want. Um, you both have talked about feeling sexy, which is so important. And we're in such a strange moment right now with what sexiness means and how women should be portraying sexiness and, you know, Me Too and all of these things that are going on. I'm sure, it's, I mean, point blank, it's a complicated time for this issue to be hitting newsstands. Um, I wanted to ask what your reaction is to, to critics of the magazine or critics of any of the photos in here and how, what you would say to dissuade that. I actually think it's a perfect time for the issue. I mean, I can be in a swimsuit and feel sexy and feel empowered and feel confident. And, you know, I feel like all the girls in the world and anybody can express themselves, should be able to express themselves the way that they want to and still be respected for it. Brenna, anything to add? Yeah, I mean, I feel the same. You know, I think about my swimsuit and my swimsuit pictures. And my achievements are no bigger or smaller. You know, I say that multiple times, like nothing has changed with me except for how I feel about myself. And if you can't understand that, then you're missing the whole point of right. Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. Exactly. That's a great answer. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of your accomplishments, you will be competing at the Paralympics next month. Uh, what events are you competing in? Um, I do snowboard cross and bank slalom. Oh my goodness, okay, so how many? Races? Are we talking races? So, yeah, two okay. races, totally different events. Um, one's against the clock and one's against other people. Uh, Danielle, will you now be watching? Oh, yes. <laughs> I will watch. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, girl. Thank you. Um, and, I mean, take us back to the days that these photos were taken. How do you prepare? How do you calm your nerves? Do you eat breakfast? Uh, <laughs> like, how do, you, how do you get ready for a moment like this? You miss your flight. Oh. Did you miss your flight? I miss my flight. Oh, girl. I missed my flight. Where were you <laughs> flying from? Um, New York. And basically, it was just a crazy day, and I was trying to pack, and ugh, it was just so much. And then I was washing clothes, <laughs> and I put my last load in the dryer, and I laid down on my bed, and I didn't wake up until the next morning at 8 a.m., and my flight was at 6 a.m. I had my shoes on and everything. I was ready to walk out the door. I just needed those clothes to dry. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I called my agent. I was like, Sandra this is not good. Like, I was like, <laughs> I missed my flight. I, I'm not going to be in it. Like, I was freaking out. I was breaking out in hives. It was a whole thing. So I had to fly the next morning. I couldn't even get a later flight for that day. I had to fly the next morning. Were your clothes dry? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were dry. <laughs> um, and then so you get there. Did, were you in Aruba as well? No, I was in the Bahamas. You were in the Bahamas. Harbor Island. Um, so right, out, right off the plane, I had to go straight into hair and makeup and just hit it. <laughs> Do you get nervous? Of course. But, you know, I shot with um, Ben Watts, and I shot with him before, and he's just so cool, and the vibe for the, um, the issue was like 80s, 90s vibe, so he played all the 90s jams that I love. So, I mean, honestly, it was just like I was on vacation dancing around the beach with my friends. <laughs> it didn't really feel like work, so, I mean, it was the best time. 
was how about when you did it last year for your first year with oh, that? Oh, brother. It was a whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> Tell I was us about like, that. My knees were shaking so much. I mean, fortunately, I shot with a uh, Utsai, and he's just kind of like crazy. So he just made me a little bit more comfortable. But I was nervous. I was just like a deer in the headlights, just like, OK, now? <laughs> Wait, is this good? Like, you know? So I was really nervous, but <laughs> still got some good shots. And what about you? Had you modeled before? Had you been in a situation like this before? <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> I'm a snowboarder. Um, yeah, I, you know, showed up to Aruba, and the second that I got there, um, just being surrounded by the incredible women behind Sports Illustrated, like, it was, there was, like, no, no question what I was doing. I felt so comfortable, and I got to pick out my swimsuits, and they, you know, their whole thing was, we want it to be you, like, not you that we don't want to stuff you into this mold, like we want you. And because of that, like it was so easy. I mean, not easy as in like, <laughs> but you know, comfortable. Like, cause just holding this, like I think I used way more muscles there than it's so when true. I snowboard. Like, I'm it's like, so true, those like, poses. Oh my they gosh. Get you. Yeah. Sore the next day. So, so let's, let's talk a little about poses and like you guys always seem to have like water splashing in the perfect places. What's happening behind the scenes? Is someone splashing you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, two people from each side. And it's like, sometimes it's not as like. <laughs> what? I, I was getting splashed by those waves. Oh really? One okay. of the times that wave came really? up and <laughs> I thought I was gonna be swept away. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so yeah, I was in the Bahamas. It wasn't as like, the waves weren't as big, so we had to fill buckets of water, and like they were splashing them on me. So yeah. <laughs> so that behind the scenes, there are people orchestrating all oh, of yeah. these. And you're like, <laughs> water in your face, <laughs> like. Um, if you guys could, you know, rewind ten years and show you then this magazine, <laughs> what would she say? Um, like, what would I say to my 14-year-old self? I'm 24. If 14-year-old you suddenly saw this magazine, what would she say? Would she uh, believe it? Not exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, I've always dreamed of it. And I would just tell my 14-year-old self that, you know, basically to keep going and, you know, keep dreaming. Because, you know, people sometimes put, like, a limit on, like, oh, you should have been doing this by now by because you're 24 or, you know, however old you are. And it's like, my career is just now starting. Like, you know, so, you know, just keep going, keep striving and, you know, be humble and do good. <laughs> um, if I showed my 12 year old self, I'm 22, I think she would freak out because why do I have one leg? <laughs> but oh. also, um, I think if I could tell, you know, show my 12 year old self that I, you know, I think about when I was 12, I was weird. And so to know, like, you might be weird, and I still am weird, but you can be sexy and confident on top of that, and your personality doesn't change. Nothing changes except for how you feel about yourself. And so I think my 12-year-old self would be pretty proud. Yeah, she should be. <laughs> um, and, I mean, you're talking about, you know, Tyra says it's business now. What's, mm -hmm. what's next for you? <sighs> um... I don't know, honestly. I mean, this, honestly, was so unexpected. <laughs> so uh, I hope to do the best things and to be go on and be a superstar and a mogul like Tyra and Beyonce and all the other cover girls. So, I mean, I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> Just got to watch and see. And Brenna, what's next for you? Well, I think I know what's next yeah. for you. Yeah, like the games. Competing. <laughs> Yeah, so um, just continue to do my best in whatever that is. We'll see. I'm excited. Yeah. It's really awesome. Um, and then my last question, really, before we take it to the audience is just, what happens to these swimsuits? Are, are they yours now? Are you wearing these suits on the beach? I would, but I don't have it. <laughs> Actually, I need that one. I need yeah. to just, like, frame it You or need to frame that. Right? <laughs> cool. Yeah. We're and good. Audience questions? I think we have yeah. a few. Yes, Danielle. Yes, what hey. is your fitness routine? Fitness routine. So I have a trainer. His name is Mato. Body by Mato is his Instagram. And I do a lot of running, a lot of cardio. And I box, too, a little bit, slightly. As a swimsuit model, are you a good swimmer? Oh, yeah, I'm good. You want to race? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Hi, my question is for you, Danielle. Mm -hmm. First, I wanted to tell you, you're really gorgeous. Thank you. And I wanted to know, what were some of the biggest struggles that you faced getting to this point that you're at now? And mm -hmm. ultimately, what is your goal after achieving something so great as this? Okay, biggest struggles. Um, so we are in the modeling industry. So I started in LA as a runway, just doing runway. So they want you pretty skinny. So I always had boobs, but you know, I always had the curves. So they were always like, oh, we like you, but you're just a little curvy. You're, you know, you're too curvy. So that that was always an issue. Um, but you know, thankfully for um, brands like Sports Illustrated, they celebrate curves and you know diversity. So, I mean, that was my biggest struggle, just you know, not fitting into the clothes properly and all that stuff. Um, what was your second question? <laughs> Sorry. The goal after achieving this, I mean, just to continue on this launch pad, you know? I feel like this is like launching my career right now. So, I mean, just to keep going and striving and moving toward moving, getting bigger, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to the both of you. Thank you. Um, Danielle, it's Black History Month. I it wanted is. to know. What does it mean to you to be the third black woman? Uh, it means everything color? to me because, you know, Tyra was, was my role model. She didn't have, she was the first one on this issue, on the cover, first black woman on the cover. Um, so, I mean, I had her to look up to and, you know, I have nieces, I have, you know, little cousins who are gonna look up to me and, you know, little girls from Compton or from wherever they come from to look up to me and I can be, you know, an, an inspiration to them. It means, honestly, everything to me. Ladies, that was, it was great speaking with you. Congratulations again. Thank and you so much. Can't wait to see what comes yeah. next. <laughs>